Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Engineer First video series by Perfect. Uh, this is our first interview ever, and we have Shivam Sethi, a lead front end engineer at Exonite.io, with us. Shivam, welcome to this video. Thanks, Adil. Uh, good to be a part of this series. Great, Shivam. Uh, just let's start. Uh, let us just give a kick start to this video by gi giving an introduction about yourself and how did you land up to where you are right now. Yeah. Uh, so hey, uh, I just started my journey when I was in like school programming days. Uh, I just got like very much fantasized when I started uh, programming from my school days, learning from different different languages like C, C plus plus, like very elementary things. And then when I got into college, I was very fascinated by the fact that how applications really work. Uh, I was you know, amazed with the fact that a piece of text can just provide some utility to a user and a very good like insight to how things like how products work and all. So that's where the uh, things started. I started learning different different languages like Java uh, in, when I entered college. And the next thing that I looked out for was Android development because, you know, I was too much into like making applications and, you know, uh, getting insights on how different, different products work. So uh, then I met a senior of mine, a senior from IIT, uh, whose guidance really helped me in, you know, making, a, uh, so I uh, built this SOS blood application that was a, a blood donation community. And I kind of uh, single-handedly make that to life. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a blood donation community and I kind of, you know, uh, spread it to different, different communities. Uh, and after seeing that potential, uh, we kind of entered into the blockchain businesses uh, yeah. where uh, Turing Labs was one of the uh, consulting businesses where we started working. And uh, I just got my hands on dirty with different different uh, platforms like React.js, AngularJS, and we kind of built cryptocurrency solutions. Uh, so in the end of my college, like in a couple of last semesters, I, I should say, I started like this space. I started working there in Turing Lab. Okay. And after working for around an year or more there, uh, we you know we just I just switched to xfinite.io and that's when I realized that there's a lot big uh, career in applications right. uh, wherein uh, I just got back to where I uh, almost started that was Android development. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like in xfinite.io I was responsible for handling the uh, applications part of the VOD platform because like we were building a solution. We were building the video on demand platform. Uh, a video streaming platform, just like uh, how Amazon Prime or Netflix works. And uh, uh, besides that, uh, I just learned how production scalability works and you know how different different products get into the market because like we were responsible for uh, starting the project from the scratch and making it to live uh, with around uh, with around I should say decent user base and the journey is still going on. So yeah. This, oh. this really has been awesome. Very interesting. Very interesting. I mean, moving from a crypto sector, cryptocurrency, and 2018 cryptocurrency was all hot, right? And uh, we heard about yeah. you, but I, I mean, I was looking through that's a, you know, the work that you had done before this interview. And then moving towards from a crypto industry to an entertainment industry, and especially talking about VOD and all, it's, it's a hell of a journey. And as you mentioned yeah. that, you have pioneered a couple of product releases, be it a cryptocurrency based product or, or something like a video streaming platform. And I think you have captured a couple of thoughts very well in a recent blog that you wrote about PRD. I mean, how important it is for any, you know, any, any tech engineer or any developer to understand what a PRD is and how important it is for an entrepreneur or maybe a project manager to list down certain things in PRD that you mentioned. So would you like to talk maybe a little bit about how, what, what, what is your take on how important a PRD should be in this journey? Yeah. So uh, like when I wrote that particular blog, I was very much into, you know, realizing the importance of a good product requirement document, because I see a lot of back and forth happens 
when you do not have a good document what you have to build or, or like what you have to build yeah so yeah. i have personally seen a lot of time and resources get you know, getting wasted on you know just doing this back and forth what I, what i just talked about okay uh, people just build start building the solutions and then realize what the requir- requirements are and then making the changes so uh, that becomes worse when you have cross platform thing right uh, because you have because once one is you have to give the delivery as well and then you have to sync up different different platforms as well right. uh, for example in x1 add.io we have a web application a mobile application uh, like both android and ios right right so right a very good side effect of this is your code quality gets a lot infected because because as you were making a lot of changes to it and you know not finalizing on one particular paradigm uh, that that really impacts your code structure and being in the industry if you have to survive if you have to uh, like if you want to have a stable product your code quality is one of the utmost and most important things uh, you would like to manage and keep upgraded Right. So that's where the PRD comes in. Uh, yeah. I have like, I think uh, in hundred out of hundred times, this is a PRD that you know uh, takes your product to different levels. Nice. So yeah, I mean that. Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. And Shivam, before we wrap up this interview, uh, it's a micro interview, so so we we just have a limited time for it. But really, I mean, from uh, as you know, perfect. Uh, the the thing that we are doing right now is all about exclusive community of engineers, and we really want to motivate the young talent, people who are now graduating, and trying to build a career in tech. And it's people like you who can give them a valid advice. Like you mentioned, there was somebody from IIT who mentored you out. Can you maybe you know give a, a little bit about uh, what what should a newbie who is just graduating from a college? should do to build a career in tech and you know also what are the next big areas that they should look for new trends like 2018 was about crypto what do you think are going to be the next big trend coming up after the covid crisis and everything oh yeah so and as i talked about uh, in the college day uh, college days i was uh, you know much fantasized by how applications works and all so yeah. i should say uh, so any engineer or student who is looking to become a developer and you know getting hands on dirty in the in this technical industry yeah uh, and to most importantly the engineers out there and especially computer and it engineers mm-hmm. uh, the one big thing that i have realized they face is of exposure okay uh, because uh, they really get exposure when they start entering into into the industry and after re- spending some time there they get exposure Okay. But why not have that exposure, that thing in the college itself? So I have seen. Uh, I mean, solutions to these are. I have seen many organizations. I mean, many colleges and institutions have cells, coding cells, and forums out there to you know help their engineers develop different different technical habits. Right. And also, I have seen second second important thing is the projects that they have in the in their engineering curriculum. so uh, which actually uh, students kind of ignore that or they or take them lightly or just you know pass it for the sake of mark so these two things are highly recommended when i talk about exposure because these will what help you uh, out when you start entering into the industry right and also i would also suggest everyone to least bother about getting placed or you know just getting placed for the sake of it because if you have the exposure you would not really want to be placed just for the sake of it yeah yeah so yeah so uh, coding cells and forums and their curriculum projects is what i highly recommend and best is that you just uh, get in touch with your alumni who are into different uh, like into your specified field so that they could help you because like they are in the industry right. so they could help you best out of it right and right. they have definitely gone through what you are going through so yeah i mean this yeah will definitely help yeah great great and on the next the last part about the next big trends do you think the world is going to be the same as yeah. before like cryptocurrency was there now you are yourself in a future trend which is about vod what are the next big trends that you think uh, one must look out for yeah so uh if i majorly talk about the front end industry what have what i have observed of the last uh, couple of years is there is a lot of advent and buzz going around the cross platform frameworks okay. uh, like react native flutter and electron which really help you 
to build different different applications for multiple platforms with just one single code base okay uh, and that is maintainable and uh, the industry adoption that i have seen for the for these two frameworks react native and Fl- uh, flutter and maybe right. uh, like uh, there are others as well yeah so by this adoption and community i have seen like this uh, adoption and community growth i have seen they i mean they are really going to be a next big thing uh because today every uh, business starts from a very small team of people and with the developers and resource crunch uh, cross platform applications with give native fill is the next big thing that you know people are going to adopt so like i see a lot of value in that great 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 um, thank you i think that was really insightful and thanks a lot for your time today shivam and uh, really from perfect we wish you all That's the right. best in your career ahead and may you shine as forever and give valued advice to your juniors in long run thanks a lot anil like thanks for having me over this call and i really wish perfect a very bright future thank you so much take care shivam bye bye thank you